Hello and welcome to episode 1 in the series on information theory. In this episode, we'll cover a topic that might be familiar to most people with a bit of experience in computer science. And the subject of today's episode is information. And more specifically, how do we describe and measure it? Imagine that you bought a very expensive hard drive that can store 8 binary digits. And you are the person that needs to decide on what the measure for its information capacity will be. One way that you could go about creating such a metric is to decide that the total amount of patterns that we can store should be the amount of information. To test how your measure behaves, you imagine that you somehow managed to save some money and get another hard drive that can store an additional 8 binary digits of information. There are now 2 to the power of 16 distinct patterns that you can store. If you compare those two situations, the difference in possible messages that you could store is 2 to the power of 8. And it kind of does not feel like that should be the case. Increasing our storage should not increase our information exponentially. What we want instead is for our information content to double when we double our storage. If you are perceptive, you might have noticed that dividing the number of binary digits that one of our drives can store by the amount of digits that the second one can store gives us exactly the result that we are looking for. But we want our equation for information in a nice compact form. So let's write it out and transform it. Our number of messages is m. And there are 2 to the power of information messages that we can store. To extract our information, we can take the logarithm of both sides. And that gives us the equation for information. But there is one final tweak that we have to make. So far, we have been only working with binary digits. So our logarithm had a base of 2. Let's just change it to an arbitrary one, so that it can be used for any base of information. Let's go over a quick example to demonstrate how the base works and verify our equation once again. Imagine some kind of information source that we use to send digits from 1 to 10. After using it once, we will have 10 possible states and our unit of information will be decimal digits, which leaves us with one decimal digit of information after performing the math. Using it again, we increase our possible states to a hundred, giving us two decimal digits of information. And the same scenario works when our source is sending binary digits instead. After using it once, we get one binary digit of information, commonly referred to as one bit of information, two bits after using it twice, and three after a third usage. So far, we have only looked at how much information is contained inside a group of messages. But we also need to be able to measure how much information we gain when we become aware of some outcome. By intuition, if someone told us that the highest bit is zero, our space of possible messages is cut down in half. Again, when we get the knowledge that the next bit is also zero, our space of possible messages is cut down in half one more time. And this is exactly how we formulate the information content of a single observation. Getting one bit of information reduces our probability by half. Or if you want a more general case, getting one unit of information reduces the possible space of messages by a factor of that unit. In this series, the base unit of information will be binary digits because it's the most commonly used and all information can be stored in binary. To extract the information from that equation, we perform a similar logarithm trick as before. This leaves us with our final equation for information content. It will be very important, so make sure that you understand it and all of its implications. 
as an exercise, try to explain to yourself why this equation and the equation for information content of a group of messages are essentially the same equation. With this, we come to the end of the first episode, and our knowledge on information deepens.